Since Leopoldo Aguirre, best known as Polo, and I did a video on Quad 9, we have received a great deal of uh, requests to produce a video that compares Quad 9 with Cloudflare. So, this uh, we're going to make three short videos that talks about what is the criteria that we will use to select a good DNS resolver. Uh, particularly, we always have had Google's 8.8.8, .8 Quad 9, and I put a link to the video that we did on it, on the video description, and the new Cloudflare 1.1.1, or Quad 1. There are three criterias that I will discuss in selecting a DNS resolver. The first one is the security aspect of it. What do I mean by that? So if we, because we are being fish or we have a malware, uh, if we put a URL into my DNS resolver, but this URL should take me to a bad side because that's what the bad guys wants to do. The security aspect of my DNS resolver will determine on whether it will produce or not an IP. So if the site is malicious and this DNS resolver is good from the security standpoint, it will next, it will not give me a, an IP resolution. That is the first aspect and for me the most important in the choosing of a DNS resolver. The second aspect has to do with privacy. When I mean, let's say that you put, uh, you know, put the URL of a gambling site and you get an IP address. After you go into the uh, into the into the that particular site, the site will implement most likely. I mean, everybody does this these days an HTTP or TLS session, a tunnel that will protect your privacy, and nobody will know what you were gambling or doing on that site. But you can not argue that you were actually going into that particular site. And this has to do with the capability of the DNS resolver to provide the, the actual DNS request over an, a, a, an HTTPS or a TLS session itself. So no one can actually see where actually was the site that you were actually trying to go. Uh, and that has to do with uh, the, the way that the different DNS resolver will support. There are two ways of doing it, over HTTPS and over TLS. And Polo's deep understanding of protocols and networks and uh, it, it will help us in exploring and understanding the differences between the different uh, DNS resolver regarding this. Also, in the privacy has to do with the fact that, hey, you know, are they, do they have a promise that they will not be using this uh, information or where we are going for selling this information or for selling us something? Uh, that is what I would see that uh, Google will be less uh, reassuring, so to speak. The people from Quad9 has established that uh, they will never uh, share that information with anybody, they will not monetize that. And the people from Cloudflare have gone even further in that, indicating that they will even delete the logs. Uh, I believe it is 48 hours, uh, and, and they keep the lo they, they keep only those logs for uh, troubleshooting aspect only. So the third aspect on selecting your DNS resolver has to do with performance. How fast it is my DNS resolver when I ask them for a URL to speed out the IP address. And this is a time measuring the low end of the milliseconds. Because it doesn't matter how secure or private uh, the thing is, if the performance is, is way bad, it's going to slow everything down because everything has to do with uh, DNS resolution uh, in, in the internet. So what we're going to be doing is creating three videos. In this video, we're going to be addressing and showing uh, the criteria that I use to determine which DNS provider uh, is better than other. And your mileage will vary. I mean, this is something I encourage you to actually do. Video number two is where 
Apollo will show us, you know, from uh, Wireshark perspective, the difference in the in the protection of the session going over HTTP versus TLS. And by the way, both uh, Quad9 and Cloudflare support, support uh, one of the protocols. Cloudflare is the first one implementing one of the two. But uh, Quad9 states that uh, theirs is in testing right now. So that might not be a difference for too long. The third video is where we're going to be showing you how you can download a performance tool to determine which DNS resolver is faster from your endpoint. And, and that is really very different from the geographic location you might be that will determine how close you are to one of the servers of these DNS resolvers are and therefore the, the, the performance that you get. By the way, uh, none of this, uh, I'm not going to be talking anything about uh, DNSSEC other than mentioning in here because all three of them uh, have the capability of supporting DNSSEC, so that is not a variable there. So let's actually dive in into how do you determine which is the most secure of these three DNS resolvers. So if we go to the x Exchange or whatever is the Threat Intelligence website you use, uh, we use the x here, Let's look into any one of these collections. So I'm going to look at this uh, NERCURS, whatever you pronounce that, probably it's not an English name anyway, uh, botnet. Uh, and let's take the first of these URL, Little Blessing Cotton, which is actually a very risky site according, in accordance with the X-Force, uh, and see which of the sites actually resolve that. To do that, in Windows you use a command win, uh, a command uh, line tool, or in the Mac uh, use terminal, and then you issue NS lookup, which is one of the tools. And in here you need to specify what server are you going to be using for DNS. So let's start with uh, Google's 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. And let's actually put the URL of that uh, little blessingcottons.com site. And we hit enter and we actually get the URL resolution so this site didn't protect me at all. Uh, the DNS resolver, sorry, did not protect me in, into that. Let's actually exit this. Let's invoke it again and go with uh, Cloudflare. And let's actually paste the URL that I have, the little thing. And we see that we get the, well, at least it's the same uh, IP address, but uh, both uh, DNS resolver resolve this, so I didn't get any protection by using them. Let's exit that and try that with Quad9. Let's put the little thing and we see we get an egg and a nix domain uh, so this site actually protected me in getting fished or any malware that tries to communicate to the to the mothership is going to be blocked by my dns not providing the actual ip address so in this particular case and this particular example quad 9 protected me while the other ones did not and, and you could argue that because the uh, X4 exchange is one of the feeds that uh, the consortium of Quad9 receives, uh, it blocked this. But again, you do your testing with your threat intelligence, but this is the method for you to actually uh, test this out. In the next video, we are going to analyze the privacy aspect of it, which vendor uh, uh, support which protocol and what are the advantages of one over the other and how you configure your system to actually, this is not something that you will, you know, magically get, at least not, not right now, uh, how you get your query to DNS to be completely private so nobody can actually uh, see where you actually went.